Facebook custom audiences. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create three different types of audiences on Facebook and make sure that you're reaching the right people when you create an advertising campaign. So to create Facebook audiences, first of all, you want to be in your ads manager. So just in the standard ads manager. And then when you're there, you want to click on, under assets, you can see audiences. So when you click on that, it then brings you to this page here. Now this page looks a little bit different. It could, it might look a little bit different to what you've got. The reason it looks like this is because this is a brand new advert account that I've created. Um, and so I don't have any custom audiences or anything set up on this account. If you've already got audiences set up, they'll be listed under here. So there's three different types of audiences um, in Facebook. You've got your custom audiences, lookalike audiences, and saved audiences. Now I'm gonna go through each one, just show you what they're all about and how you can create them yourself. So first of all, let's go on to custom audiences. Now, these are people that already have a relationship with your business. So it might be um, customer file. You might have a list of email addresses. Your, so your email database that you've got. Um, when you click on that, you can simply import it from MailChimp or you can copy and paste the data in there. So if you've got a, an email list of maybe 10,000 people, you can actually copy and paste those into Facebook and target those people through ads. Website traffic, now that's if you've got a Facebook pixel installed on your site. If you don't, check out my other videos on how to install one of those. Um, but what you can do is you can set up, uh, when you've got your pixel installed, you can target people that have visited your website. So if you've visited my website, bluecliffmedia.com, chances are when you go onto Facebook again, you'll get an ad from me um, talking about retargeting. App activity, so this is a, a list of people who've taken a, an action in your app or game if you're a, an app owner or developer. And lastly, this isn't available to all um, accounts at the moment, but engagement on Facebook. So you can actually create a list of, of people that have engaged with maybe a video or a lead advert. So if you've if you've uploaded a video to, to Facebook, a thousand people have watched that, you can then go and retarget those people that have watched that video. Hugely, hugely powerful. So those are custom audiences and those are, if you're sending people, if you're sending an ad to cold traffic, um, maybe to a website or to a video, retargeting people with a custom audience like this is really, really, really powerful. Lookalike audiences are, are audiences that you can create that are similar to audiences that you already have. Now we spoke about earlier custom audiences. So when you're creating a lookalike audience, in here you choose your source. So that might be something like your, um, your custom audiences, maybe your, your website traffic, or it could be your email list. Then you choose a country, so depending on, on what country you want to target. And then you choose the audience size that you wish. So I'll give you an example. So let's say we have an email list of 10,000 people. We would put that onto Facebook using the custom audience. We would then select that audience in the source here. We would choose whatever country you want to target. Facebook would then say, out of those 10,000 emails, we've got we've matched those 10,000 to 2,000 people on Facebook. So 2,000 people have signed up to Facebook using the same email address that they signed up to your product or service with. Now what we can do with those 2,000 is we can create an audience size of um, one to 10% of that total population, the country that you choose. So let's say we've got uh, an email list 2,000 people are there, we can then expand that audience using this lookalike audience. So that audience of 2,000 people might turn into something like a million people. And what Facebook will do is it'll take the, the interests and the behaviors, etc., and demographics of those people that are already on your audience, and they'll find, and Facebook will find other people with similar interests and behaviors, etc. So you're taking your, your smaller audiences, your smaller audience and making it much larger. And lookalike audiences are really, really powerful, especially if you're going to a cold audience where you can actually target people that are probably going to be interested in your product or service from the outset. And the thing with, with lookalike audiences as well is when you go to create an ad and, you're, and, you're, and you choose your lookalike audience, you can actually narrow it down further with the targeting inside the, the ads campaign manager. So that's lookalike audiences for you. And lastly, saved audiences which is just your standard creating uh, a Facebook ad 
audience and, and targeting. So you've probably seen this this kind of screen before when you've gone to create an ad and you and you've been asked with the targeting. It's exactly the same here. Um, there's no difference to it at all. You've got your location, age, gender, language, and your demographics, interests, and behaviours. You simply name your audience up here, and then down here, click on create audience, and that will create that audience. So whenever you go and you create a, a Facebook ad campaign, you can just simply select the audience that you created here. So that's the three different types of audiences you get on Facebook. All three of them are really powerful when used properly. Um, if you want to, to find out a bit more about them, um, feel free to, to comment on the video below. Uh, alternatively, I've got a Facebook advertising blueprint. It's the, the formula that I use um, for my own business and for my clients that helps me to, to basically make sales from Facebook ads because, as you maybe know, when people are on Facebook, they're not in buying mode, and so you've got to you've got to reach out to them kind of in a careful and clever manner. So that's what that blueprint is for. But thanks very much for for sticking around, watching this video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you, or I won't see you. I won't see you, but you'll see me in the next video. Cheers.